My name is Rykon, and welcome to Zealand. Look, I don't know how long it's going to last for, so I'm going to have to make this quick. So listen, either you know what's outside that door, or you've been living under a rock, and I'm jealous. It started a week ago. It was just a flu. It was nothing new. Avian flu, swine flu, they all come. They all go. And when we thought this was gone, when we thought this was done, that's when it all went to hell. The media called it the longest night. The night where it all changed. It all seemed fine. People discharged, sent home. And that night, when they went to sleep, they didn't wake up. Not them. Something else did. It wasn't just the flu. They will keep trying to tell you that, but it is a lie. If you see anyone with flu-like symptoms, stay away. It's too late for them. But it's not too late for you. I know you don't want to hear it, but the world out there is different now. The rules by which we once lived do not apply anymore. Let me ask you something. Something simple. How long do you think you can hold on to yourself when the world has already let go? Well, welcome to the new world. I am a survivor, a citizen of this new land, but you can be too. I'm writing this book to give you, to give us a chance. The world we knew is gone. The rules have changed as if the people, the dead, that now walk our earth are only a slither of the dangers you will face every single day. Hunger, dehydration, exposure, exhaustion, and the constant threat of being eaten. And not just by the dead, yes. The world has changed, and we will need to change with it. But how you change will define your story of survival. Survival has its own cost. You'll need to decide for yourself just how far you'll go. As I'm telling you, there are people out there that will go very, very far. If you have people you can trust, friends, family, Keep them close. Keep them alive. Morality is one of the many gifts that civilization has given us. Without it, those same rules don't apply anymore. They're still out there, waiting, trying to find a way in. And they won't stop. They aren't like us. They don't sleep. They barely need to eat. That is our enemy out there. Those are the ones that we're meant to be fighting. But there's many that will use them as just another weapon. <laughs> In time, you might get enough resources, enough people to attempt to start again. But they will always be out there. They will always be listening. Every sound we make, every little noise, draw them to us, ringing the dinner bell. You might just think twice before you fire that gun, before you slam that door, before you yell at each other over the top of your lungs. But if you aren't one of the lucky ones with nowhere to call home, a nomad, the weather will be just as dangerous as them. It will slow you, it will make you weak, it will make you sick. There's no way to grow food when you're on the road. You'll be scavenging, relying on what's been left behind by the old world. <laughs> Yes, there are many ways you can die in this new world, but there are many in which you can live. Don't give up on me yet. I need people like you. The world needs people like you. We already have enough of them. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay smart. Fight to take back our world. For if we don't, there'll be nothing more than a sea land.